Hey guys, welcome back to Wall Digital Media. And today we are continuing our build of the Lego Daily Bugle. The first set of bags, there was, there was only two, and this is where we're at so far, and we're 39 pages in. So, let's set this aside for just a second. So bag number two, and bag number two. I don't know why the, the difference in the bags like that, but anyway, once again, I open things with my teeth. That's just the way it goes. And it looks like there are two minifigures in this section. Let me make sure. I don't know about you, but it never fails. I'll always be missing a piece and find it in a bag somewhere. And might as well get all these out and open. And I'm going to do something I normally don't do. And that is, oh, drop the piece. First drop piece of this video. I dropped two last time. And it's under my desk somewhere, but I know exactly what piece it is. It's the second one of these. And more than likely, there's an extra one of these. So if not, I'll find it later. So anyway, let's jump ahead a little bit. This, let's see. This is a girl with a t-shirt. This could be Gwen when she's not Spider Gwen. Let's see who exactly it says she is. Yes, I'm right. This is Gwen Stacy. So, Gwen Stacy. I'm gonna sit her over there with Aunt May. And then we have Ron Barney, who I believe is either an editor or a reporter for the Daily Bugle. And so there he is. I'll see him over there as well. All right, let's bring our base plate back in from the first part. And try to keep it about right there. Okay, so now we're on page 40. And this is going to be building a door like so. Just snaps right in. Nice little snap. And already calling for a sticker on both sides. So we have number 33. Which goes here. Exit no entrance. Try to keep that kind of straight. That's good. It looks like it's got some uh, graffiti on there as well. And then on the other side, we have sticker number 32, which also says exit push to open. So we'll put that. These are so hard to keep straight. Uh, not the best, but that's good enough. Because it looks like a painted on sign, actually. Like someone spray painted a stencil. Um, I tell you, on a set like this expensive and with this many pieces, I would just prefer it if Lego would just go ahead and do printed pieces. Um, couldn't be that hard for them to do. All right. 
doorknob and it's going to go right in the back there. Cool. All right. Easy enough. And it looks like we've got a lot of these little one by ones with the one stud that are going to go beside the doors and then a one by four plate goes in between each one that you do except on this corner piece looks like we've got a one by one with two studs like a corner stud there we go and then we're going to do some more one by four plates and we'll go ahead and leave a spot there and we'll do two more of the dark gray with the one stud okay so we've done one two three four we've done the five We've done the corner, we've done one, two, three, four, five. So that's it for page 41. Going to page 42. And we need 10 of this one by two plate with the little extender. I don't know exactly what you call this piece. But um, they're used in a lot of buildings for detail. And they're also used to create some of the longer pieces like this are used to create sliding doors on some of the sets because this piece will let another piece slide through. But they're great for just adding little bits of detail. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 of those. Okay, on to page 43. Now this is a uh, one by two with two studs on the front. And we are going to be making a couple of identical pieces with uh, three one by ones with this. And then on the front of that there are two I didn't sort all my pieces there it is and I believe that's the uh, push buttons for the elevator and that goes right there with that and the one we're making multiples of is simply two of these with one of these on top. And these are gonna go on either side of the door. Like so. All right, page 44. You know, they could put a lot more steps on a page and really cut down on printing cost, I think. So we need to make one of these to go here. And one of these with a one by one. And then a One by one plate. Okay, and as you can see, we're building up the walls to go around. So I'm gonna turn this so I can see it like the... There we go. All right, so now we're getting a little tricky. Take these and twist it like 
like so. And that's going to be on this corner. It's a really interesting way that we're building these wall pieces. Like I said before, I'm just constantly blown away by Lego designers and how they come up with these techniques for this. All right. Page 46. All right, and there's where we get a lot done with these pieces. They just fill in a lot of space very quickly. So we're going to be using eight of these. And before you know it, these walls are going to be done. This is going to use a couple of plates. And this and these long pieces here. with that flat piece going to the inside. There we go. So that's page 46 and 47 on to 48. Now we're going to use a one by eight plate. It's gonna pretty much connect all that. Then we have a one by two actually two one by twos and a two by two. There we go. And then a one by six plate to connect that. All right. So let's flip it around like it shows it in the book now. And the inside is a uh, Getting pretty interesting. So that's the elevator doors right here. The And uh, it's obviously an elevator that goes nowhere. But still, it's cool that it's, uh, it's there and showing like that. All right, so now we're gonna go on the inside and we're putting some of these pieces on. with some little one by one plates in between. Looks like I got one more of those, yep. Now this is interesting. Okay. So these go above the door. I'll try not to be so quiet, but every now and then I'll come across a page and when you start using these little pieces in between other pieces, you really got to pay attention. So far I've only had to take one thing apart and put it back together because I didn't do something right. And it was minor. Normally it's something major, but it was super minor this time. Okay, so now it's calling for some of the newspaper pieces, and these were in a bag that was not, not numbered, and there are a lot of these. And what's cool about this is normally, I know you've seen the little newspaper prints for, for um, sets before, but all these are Daily Bugle, and most of these are completely different prints. They all have different headlines 
and pictures on them. So I'm pretty, pretty impressed with that. There's a lot of them. So let's see what we've got here. Now this is where there was a time when I didn't need glasses, but now I do and I still can't really see which ones go there. Oh, look, there's the kingpin. I said I wish this came with a kingpin figure and there's a headline with the kingpin. I tell you, I almost need a magnifying glass to see what goes in here. And I still can't really read it. I'm trying to make out the picture. Okay, that's the one on the end, and this says the Daily Bugle, new building for New York City newspaper. So, okay, so I guess that's a headline of when the Daily Bugle was first built. So that's cool. Looks like this one. Spider-Man, threat or menace. That's your typical Daily Bugle headline right there. Okay, and then there's one more in the middle. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Lego Man Walks on the Moon. So this is like, I guess this is Daily Bugle from uh, 1969 when uh, Apollo 11 landed us on the moon. Pretty neat. Okay. So as it turns out, that piece I dropped earlier is indeed an extra piece. So we're good to go on that. These are some little green green lights here. We've got a one by six. And then two of these above the door. So this is a those are simulating lights above the exit. And then a one by one. Then it looks like another one by six. Another one by one. And then, okay, above the uh, elevator. This is cool. I don't know if you'll be able to see these very good or not, but there's your up and down arrows for the elevator. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I like that. That looks cool. And then you got to the two before there. All right. Looks like I've got everything. Good. There's a one by eight. That we almost missed. And another one by one plate there on the corner. All right. So now we're 51 pages in. Moving on to page 52 and we're just building up these walls now really bracing them another interesting corner piece we're about to make so that way that way Yeah, that's cool. And then looks like another one by one. And then one by eight. All right, that was a pretty simple page. All right, so we got, I think we're about to start working on some windows, not the PC kind. I don't do PCs, I'm a Mac guy. Have been since around 1998, I guess. Somewhere around there. All right, so this is a lot of pieces, but I will tell you, this is coming along a lot faster 
then those first two bags with all those tiles that was getting crazy now we'll say I'm surprised by how skinny this building is um, from seeing the box and videos I've seen about it because it looks massive um, it's just kind of we'll see that because you know I'm nowhere near finished all right page 54 and this is going to require some webbing which is also in a separate separate bag I love these pieces they've started making for spider-man shooting his web uh, the big web pieces uh, it's just really kind of cool so good stuff good stuff all right so we've got one by two little hinge piece another one by two going on top of this oh I know what this piece is I saw this in um, Jang Bricks video um, which if you don't if you've never seen a Jang Bricks video he does great reviews on sets and I tell you that's how I sometimes figure out if I'm going to buy a set or not, is I'll go check out what he said about it. Because I really enjoy his stuff. You know what? I put the total, I put a totally wrong kind of hinge on there. Where's my brick separator? I'm actually going to use the little separation tool. Why did I do that? This is why, and of course this one's really hard to do this with. There we go. This is a really cool tool. Who, whoever came up with that, the physics of how it uses leverage and everything to break bricks apart in so many different ways, it was, it's very impressive. Very impressive. So there we go. So that, we need that. So you can see right here this is cool this is like a, a hidden part in the wall and it's like you know when spider-man changes clothes sometimes he's got to have a place to hide them and he will web them up on the side of a building so that that's really cool I like I like that little details like that is what sets Lego apart from other toys all right this is where that hinge goes like a little ball joint hinge we'll figure out what that's for shortly So we're coming along pretty well on these walls now. Another layer of some of these guys. With Looks like there should be a piece that went in there. There was. Just missed it. There we go. So you can see how these walls are getting built up. And then, oh, I'm skipping ahead. Don't let me do that. Should be another one by one. Right now, I am not seeing it. So 
so basically I just built something completely wrong and put a piece where it didn't belong so I wasn't actually missing a piece I was just not I got confused and it's easy to do when you have uh, instructions that rotate your piece around and sometimes you can't see the other side very well to see how it connects in the instructions and that's just what happened to me did I say constructions I meant to say instructions if I said constructions so we're putting a lot more of those little one by twos with that little extended piece to add a lot more detail and we've got one by two there all right we're moving pretty quickly now so now we're on page 58 and this this is a this is a section i've really been looking forward to because this is like this looks like a little vending machine and i love when lego um, puts like real world elements into their sets like this because they do it in such a creative way and it's just really cool so this looks like it could be an old coke machine so that's a very small printed piece there for your selector for your vending machine uh -oh. time for a sticker Sticker number four. I'm just going to be on our main. Sticker number four. Which is web. Web soda or something like that. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's a can with Spider-Man's head on it. So that's pretty neat. Because I think we're about to put some soda cans in here. If you can see that. That's, that's pretty neat. And we're going to put these sides on it. Cool little soda, soda can machine. And sure enough, these are our soda cans. And they just drop in. That is cool. And of course, Lego now has even printed the pull tabs on the soda cans little attention to detail is why they can command a premium price for their product and people will pay it although with my business and another business i do work for i have an amazon rewards card that I get reimbursed for but all my points I can spend on Lego so there we go so I get a lot of these sets with for for basically nothing um, and here we go so the reason this little tab was here was for that to fit on so now I've got a little soda machine by the back door of the Daily Bugle pretty cool and they take a whole page up just to show you to put it there. And it's time for a chair. Which looks like it's going to go here. And a desk of some kind. Or not even a desk but a table and this looks like it has some awards so we've got some awards that the daily bugle has possibly won and that goes down there underneath 
the newspaper. So that's cool. Like I say, more attention to detail. All right, so we're gonna be building. Looks like a security um, section here. And a lot of little pieces, yeah. So here's your little sensor, I guess. Maybe a metal detector. Um, and a door to go through. I'm not going to put that in yet though because I want to build the other side. So we need another one of these great pieces. Or storm drain piece. Or cheese grater. I've heard them called all kind of different, different things. So there's the other side. And so these go in there and there. Oh, you know what? I put a that's gonna be an extra piece they gave us. They gave us another but all the buttons to the vending machine. I'm gonna those are great little pieces to have for custom stuff. I love that they give you extras of, of certain pieces. So there you go. There's your little security gate going into um, where the elevator is. So I guess the security person maybe might sit here. There are buildings in downtown where I live that have a security guy at the elevator. Not that I live in a big town that needs a lot of security, but that's just the way it is. And yeah, here's a walkie-talkie, so that that definitely screams security station. And we're going to build another piece here. And there are handcuffs. And that is something you normally don't see, at least not in the building I go to. But I guess if you have an unruly person trying to get in to your upper levels, it's good to have handcuffs. All right, so looks like we're gonna be building a bench. Uh, or at least multiple seats for like a little waiting area. I do like I do like that they've built like like an armrest in between. So that's cool. It just gives you a little bit more detail than it being just a normal plate with three seats on it. And so that's gonna go go there. And we have this little interesting use of these curved pieces for the desk going into the uh, to the area. So that's pretty neat. All right, 65 pages in now. We're getting close to another another thing so let's see. bring all these around to the front where I can see looks like another display piece we're making for more issues of the Daily Bugle I notice a couple of these say the conspirator um, so maybe they're competition I bet they go in the newsstand outside that we're going to be building later on 
And once again, let me see if I can see which newspapers go. Oh, this is easy because this, so this is like a current rack, a current issue because they both say no crime. Same thing. And that just goes right there. So I guess uh, you can uh, read you a paper as you're waiting to uh, talk to the uh, to the people. And wow. So for for bag number three, or both bags number three, we got a ton of extra pieces here. Now these uh, these newspapers I don't consider extra pieces because they were in a not numbered bag, which means they will be used for another another piece. But anyway, so we are 66 pages in to the 400 pages of this book, basically. And we have this much done. So that's the back. And a good bit of detail on the inside. Like I say, I do love this elevator section. Even though it's not a working elevator, that's that's pretty cool. The the soda machine is awesome. The desk that's a very interesting desk. I love the uh, the awards and the old issues of the uh, Daily Bugle up there on the wall. That's that's pretty cool. So, all right, so that's it for the second set of bags and man i am really wanting to tear into bag number three right now because two really cool minifigures coming up in these next uh, next bag um, you've got the punisher and carnage coming but i'm going to save that for the next video so we will see you again in part three as we build bag three of the lego daily bugle